Lesson 19 is about factors and prime numbers. First, let's think about what a factor is. A factor, that's a whole number that divides another whole number. For example, think of number 10. There are four factors of 10. 1, 2, 5, and 10. All of those numbers are factors of 10. And you can tell that they're factors because you can divide them by 10. For example, let's do 1. 1 goes into 10 10 times. 2, that goes into 10 five times. Five goes into 10 two times. And then 10 goes into 10 one time. So a factor, 10, 5, 2, and 1 in this example are all factors of 10. They divide 10 into another whole number. So 1 divides 10 into another whole number, 10. 2 divides 10 into 5, a whole number. Remember, whole numbers don't have a decimal after them. So like 5.2, 4.7, 3.1, those are decimal numbers. Those are not whole numbers. 5 divides 10 into a whole number, which is 2. And 10 divides 10 into a whole number, which is just 1. Why don't we try some more practice on figuring out what factors are. Once you list the factors of 6, what whole numbers can you divide into that? Well, you could have 1, 2, 3, and 6. All of those would work. Another way to think about factors are whole numbers that you can multiply together that will get you that value or that product. So to get a product of 6, you could multiply 1 times 6. You could multiply 6 times 1. You could multiply 2 times 3 or 3 times 2. Look at this one. 3. Find the factors of 3. Well, that would just be 1 and 3. So think about it. 1 times 3. Those are the only two ways you can get 3 by multiplying two whole numbers. And C, 16. Let's think about that. 1. 1 always works for all these. You can always do that and whatever that number is. So we know 16 will work. 2, 4, and 8 would also work. 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. All of those are factors of 16. And let's do another one, 23. What are the factors of 23? Well, that would just be 1 and 23. 1 times 23 equals 23. Now, do something similar. Count up the different factors for these numbers. How many different factors does 9 have? We'll just think about it. 1 times 3, or 1 times 9. So we have 1 and 9, and then 3 times 3 is 9. So 1, 3, and 9 would be factors. So there's three factors. Let me just draw an arrow and three, three factors for 9. 7. 1 times 7, that's all that works there, so two factors. I'll just write factors out over to the side so that you know all of these are the factors. G, let's do another one, 15. Let's think about it. 1 times 15, there's 2. 5 times 3, there's 2 more. 4 factors. And then let's do one more of those, 12. Let's think about it. 1 times 12, there's 2. 2 times 6, there's two more. 3 times 4, that's equal to 12 as well. So 12 has six factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Let's go ahead and look at the second part of this lesson on prime numbers. Now, what a prime number is, that's a number that has exactly two factors. And to make that very clear, they have two different factors. 
for example, I have this list of numbers from 1 to 50 on the board. 1 is not a prime number because the only thing that 1 it can be multiplied by is itself, 1. So that's the same number or same factor. So 1 is not a prime number. Now to learn a little bit more about prime numbers, why don't we just go through this list of numbers from 1 to 50 and cross out all the ones that are prime numbers. Keep in mind how we've defined a prime number. They have two different factors, and only two. They can't have three, they can't have one, they can't have five. They have to have two different factors, and that's it. Now, you might want to go back to Lesson 19 and review divisibility. And remember, that's a way we can figure out the factors of a number. If it's divisible by two, the last digit is even. If it's divisible by 5, the last digit is 0 or 5. If it's divis divisible by 10, the last digit is 0. And that can help us figure out what are some of the factors for that particular number. And then remember we can do that sum of the digits test. We can add the digits up. If they add up to 3, then it can be divided by 3. If the digits add up to 9, that means that number can be divided by 9. Keep those ideas in mind, and those are always useful whenever you're trying to find if a number is a prime number or not. Okay, so we know that 1 is not a prime number. 2, that's a prime number because it can just be 2 times 1. Those are the only two factors of 2. And we're looking for whole number factors here, not fractions or decimals or anything like that. Whole number factors. 3, that's a prime number. And I said earlier I was going to cross the ones that are prime numbers out. I think it would be better just to circle them so you can still see which ones they are. Now 4, just think 4 times 1, and then that's an even number. It can be multiplied by 2, 2 times 2. So there's three different factors there, so that's not a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 7 would be a prime number. 9, that's 9 times 1 is 9, and then 3 times 3, so that's not a prime number. Then we have 10, 11, that's a prime number. 11 times 1 is the only thing, only two factors for 11. 13, that's a prime number. 16 is not, 17 is. 19 is a prime number. And 23, that's a prime number. Now, just think of some of these, 24, 25, 26. Now, that's even number, so it has to, 2 has to be a factor there, so that's not a prime number. 27 is not, because you have 1 times 27, 3 times 9, 28, 29. That is a prime number. So just think about it. Just add up the digits there. 9 plus 2 is 11. It wouldn't be divisible by 3 or by 9. 31, that's a prime number, and 37 is a prime number, so is 41, 43, 47, and 49, remember 7 times 7, 1 times 49, there's three factors there, three different factors, so 49 is not a prime number. So from 1 through 50, those are our prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, and 47. All of those have two and only two different whole number factors. Let's do a couple of practice problems dealing with prime numbers. Look at this number here, 24. What I want you to do with that is to break that up into all of its prime number factors. For example, if you had 6, to break that into its prime number factors, you would do 2 times 3. So think about 24. You could do 2 times 12. Let's just break it up bit by bit, 2 times 12. And then, of course, 12, we can break that up. And we could do that one, 2. And then 12 is 2 times 6, we could say. So 2 times 2 times 6. And then 6 is 2 times 3, so then we could just write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And so that right there is 24 broken up into its prime number factors. 
Let's try another one. This will be a little bit easier. Let's try 10. Well, 10, that's an even number, so we know it's 2 is a factor, 2 times 5. And then that would be it, right? Because those are the two prime numbers, 2 times 5. So that is a good skill to be able to do to break up a number into all of its prime number factors. And you'll use this in some later lessons. You'll use this when you get to algebra class, too. So for right now, just make sure you understand the definition of what a prime number is. They have two different whole number factors, and only two. Not one, not three or more. Two and only two. Those are the numbers that are prime numbers. You might want to think about ones from 51 to 100 that are prime numbers as well. The ones, if you wanted to memorize any, the ones you'd want to memorize would be like the ones that are from 1 to 10, so 2, 3, 5, and 7. Those are the ones you will use the most often. Okay, well that's all for lesson 19.